I'm surprised every day and I don't know if I'll ever stop being surprised. I'm John Chappie and my responsibility is to work with our manufacturers, to attract new manufacturers to become part of the Alps distribution. Two comments he used to make to me on a regular basis. Anytime I would say, can you help, help me out with this? I need you to do something. You take care of this. And, and he'd always, at the end of it, always say, consider it done. Take it off your plate. And as a boss, that's, that's the word you want to hear. <laughs> so I, I really, really liked working with him for that. John saw the bigger picture. He saw something that we didn't see here at Alps Controls. He saw that uh, there's an advantage that we can provide the manufacturer um, that is just as important as the advantage that we uh, apply to the customer. John did a fantastic job building this company up, uh, uh, helping us expand, bringing new manufacturers in. We didn't have anybody on that side of the fence. As it turns out, he brought a very new and different perspective for us uh, from the manufacturing side and really taught us the value of um, Alps controls and the manufacturing relationship of what value we brought to the manufacturers. The years that John was here, he made us understand that and, and that was probably one of the greatest benefits and values that he brought to the table. And it's something that we had no idea was out there. And he brought it with enthusiasm and with uh, passion. That changed everything for Alps Controls. We went from selling something like 70 manufacturers to 140. And he was 99% you know, successful, you know, off the charts. It's becoming much easier every day for Alps Controls to attract manufacturers. There was a time where we had to work hard to really show them what value we brought to the table because they said, we well, are not gonna buy a truckload of stuff. And we think, no. Um, but we will sell several truckloads more often. Uh, he had a great ability to personalize uh, our approach, and he really was excited about it. He really felt that it was a strength uh, of what we did in our industry and why people should want to know about it. John was the only company, was the only person we had working for us that worked remote, didn't work out of our office here, but yet made himself, forced himself on everybody here, that everybody in the company knew who he was, every, every single employer, because he would call, he would, well, aside from his trips up to Pittsburgh, we would spend a little time here, he called on a regular basis and spoke to everybody, and we all felt that he was here. I mean, he was part of the company. It, it was neat because he could be in Florida, and he was still a significant part of the company day in and day out. And I talked to just about everyone. Over the course of two or three days, I talked to everyone. Generally, those conversations are all live on video chat. So the beauty is people who know their job so well and like it that it's, uh, you know, I never feel like I'm interrupting anybody, whether it's Dave or Pat or Ken or Brian or Alan. Uh, everyone is, is just, they don't have to stand up and get off the bench to come into the game. They're on the floor. Everyone takes a lot of pride that they can, they, they, they're contributing to the company, and that's what makes people feel good. You can contribute and actually do something. John always saw the good in people. Um, I, I've never heard a negative word come out of John. Um, he was a, such a positive person. Um, I, I wish he would, would have worked in the office instead of his home in Florida. Um, he, was, he was fun to be around, and, and he made everything lighter uh, in the office. He was always that way. I mean, he, he was never down or never, um, yeah. He was always upbeat positive, trying to find ways to expand the company, to grow our business. Right before I started working here, uh, this was a couple of years ago, and a John called my house, and he ended up talking to my wife probably for a, a good 40 minutes or so. Uh, and the whole idea of the conversation was just how uh, excited he was, uh, both for me and, and for my family, that I was going to come to work at Alps Controls. And he went on to tell her about what a great company it was and how happy I was going to be and how it would be great for my family. And his, uh, his personality and, and his excitement about the company was, was truly infectious. He just met me. The day he asked me for, to come work for me, he had just met me that day. I thought that was pretty courageous uh, to, to just say, I want to work for you. And not, and not because... I'm losing my job over here because 
I, this is fine, but I want to do what you're doing, and I want to, I want to be in part of this company. Most people at 57 are coasting. I thought that was pretty courageous, and I really respected him for that. He, he did add a significant amount of, uh, of value and, and just a friendship that we developed uh, over the years uh, will always be remembered, and that's, uh, yeah, we'll miss him. He's, he's one of those guys that you'd want to golf with. He just loosens you up. He uh, allows you to have fun. That's just his personality, a very relaxing gentleman. He had my back. He had my best interest at heart. I quite enjoy talking to him uh, every day, and uh, I'll miss that. Uh, even though he wasn't here, it, it felt like he was. Uh, it was a pleasure to know him, and, and I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him a lot. Everybody just immediately liked the guy when he walked in, um, and, they, and they wanted to help him out. They wanted to work with him. Um, we're all capable of doing more.